What's up? What's up? What's up? Of course. Of course. What's going on, my dears? Aquarius leaving hoes delirious. What's going on, baby? Shout out to all my new subscribers. Shout out to everyone who has clicked this goddamn video. It is the one and only Scorpion Red Tarot back at it again to let my Aquarius know what the hell is going on with you for the month of June 2019. Shout out to everybody that clicked this video. Big up to yourself. All right. Yes. I have a few announcements, so y'all gonna have to hear me run my mouth a little bit. Y'all going just a little bit, okay? Listen, thanks to everyone who has been sending love to the page, and it's for all of us because y'all been dropping some treats through here. We don't got the Game of Thrones deck through the people that's been sending love through PayPal. We don't got the tea leaf cards, okay? We don't got a numerology deck, and now. <laughs> We got this deck, y'all, that is so sexually explicit. It is, oh, I guess, bans on YouTube because it's short enough blocks, that video. Y'all see the video on my page where it's like a video that says something about this deck is just nasty for no damn reason. Yeah, that video got blocked. And I don't want my page to get shut down. So... Thank you to everyone who's been sending support to the page because it's been helping me progress and grow. And because of this deck, which I am going to show you a little preview of what this deck looks like without showing the sexual explicit part of it. All right. So it's this deck right here. So this deck has made me realize that I need to step things up and move things on over to another platform um, where we can be a little bit freer and also have a little bit of privacy so i've opened up a patreon i put the link in my about tab with all of my other links where you can book um readings with me and also you can show support and love to the page uh so this is what's going to happen um and again thank you to everyone who's been sending love through paypal and everything y'all made all of this equipment, all of this stuff possible for this page to grow the way it is. So thank you guys so much. Um, I've opened up a Patreon and we got two tiers here. So if you guys remember when I used to do the free live readings and stuff like that on YouTube. But um, unfortunately because there were some issues with that, um, I stopped doing it. Now I have a membership thing. So we can have privacy <laughs> we can have the sexually explicit cards and not only that we're going to start doing some live call and readings okay so there's two tiers we have a 199 tier and there's a 499 tier the 199 tier is for you guys to just see me do my blogs we're going to do a lot of call-ins and then we're going to do a lot of live readings and stuff so for the people that don't have enough money to afford the full personal readings the full personal readings is basically me doing what you see me do here with all of these 50 11 decks and stuff like that that's basically me doing all of this for you on a personal level and it is a little bit more expensive but for the people that cannot afford a full personal reading you can join a membership club for $1.99 a month. You will be able to hop in on my free live readings. Well, it's a membership, so it ain't free free. I mean, it's, you're paying $1.99. But you'll be able to hop in when I do those lives, you know, and be able to get a personal reading that way. It won't be a full extensive reading. It's, you know, like you're paying for a personal and private reading. But it is a reading where I'm directly connecting to your energy. You'll be able to talk to me. And when I do my live call-ins, you guys will be able to be on the chat line. If you have patience, you're waiting on the chat line, and you'll be able to talk to me personally, and we'll be able to do live readings that way. You know what I'm saying? So, and we'll be in a private space where it's just members only so um hopefully you guys will come over and join me that's the 199 tier and then the 499 tier will be the tier where it's like literally adult only we will be having adult conversation private conversations we'll be having the decks that have more sexually graphic stuff on there we'll be doing some sex secret spread so if some of y'all need some mystery about some stuff that's been going on with y'all lover or something and y'all want to find out the real tea we gonna get to the tea okay and some of these cards are gonna 
have imagery kind of let you know what the hell is going on. So mm, we're going to keep it there. And then we're going to be having a lot of adult conversation about y'all see how my page is. Y'all see how my page is. So we're going to be having some call-ins about topics. And we're going to be having some grown folk conversation. And if there's some shit where I feel like shit, that's a good-ass question. Let's pull the cards out and see what the cards got to say. We're going to do it. So we're going to have a lot of good fun. Um, thank you guys for making this possible. If it wasn't for the fact that <laughs> y'all got me that debt <laughs> it wouldn't have pushed me to do this and I think that this is cool and I think that we're going to have a lot of fun so thank you guys so much for just supporting me and pushing me to grow and pushing me to challenge myself um, with tarot and just with everything so I thank you guys so much for everything and shout out to everyone that's been supporting shout out to everyone that's been liking sharing and subscribing and shout out to all my new subscribers hold on you guys cause my music just went out hold on youtube so um if there's anyone that wants to book a personal or private reading with scorpion reds tarot only thing that you need to do is go over to that about tab you'll see some links what you need to do is book and then link you'll see a, a link that says scorpion reds tarot and simply book me again it says scorpion reds tarot and simply book me go ahead and click that hyperlink select the type of reading that you want double back to the about tab you'll see my instagram link right under there Click that link, send me a personal or private message, and we'll connect there for the video chat. If you don't have an Instagram or prefer not to use your Instagram, that's cool. You can use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. You can download this app called Google Hangouts, all right? Use that email, again, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. Send me an email, and then we can, I mean, not send me an email. Send me a message on Google Hangouts, and we can connect on Google Hangouts to do the video chat, okay, for your reading. If you choose not to get on the video chat if you don't feel comfortable with being face to face for a video chat that's fine you could do a direct video upload only thing you need to do is have a uh, book your reading um, select the add-on for a, di a direct video upload you can use that add-on which is called um, recap slash direct video upload if you are doing a face-to-face -face video chat and you just want a recording of the whole experience I can record it for you and do a direct upload to YouTube and send you the link to it which is a private link and you can look back at our reading over and over and over again as many times as you want or like I said if you don't feel comfortable getting on camera um, book your reading book and then link me send me your question make sure that you only send me the question don't send me the information pertaining why you're asking the question okay because I don't want you to say I just told you that okay so send me your question we're going to see what spirit has to say and we're going to go from there okay um, if you want to send support to the page and again thank you guys so much to everyone that's been sending a dollar two or three to paypal that link is in the description in the about tab and thank you guys so much you've been sending love to amazon wish list um a lot of times if you don't if it's a specific deck that you want um what you guys have been doing you guys have been emailing me again at scorpionreds at gmail.com and saying hey reds are you interested in this deck i say yeah that deck is cool i like that that's how we got the game of thrones deck and i added it to my wish list and you guys you know sent the love that way so thank you guys so much because you guys have your own ideas of the decks that you guys want to see and that y'all want spreads done with so i just thank you so much you guys are amazing anyway let's get into the reading enough of all of that and if anyone wants to time stamp you guys can have time stamp from here i'm about to start the prayer all right aquarius leaving them delirious all right so, Father God, thank you guys so much for bringing us so much light, love, and joy, and prosperity, and peace, and abundance, and happiness in our life. Thank you for keeping us in good health. Thank you so much for keeping us spiritually wealthy, Father God. We are enjoying the springtime, and we are so much looking forward to the summer. You already know how we do. You already know how Corey's doing the summer. We don't play no games. We like to get out there and party, you know. We like to have a good old time, you know. Father God, thank you so much for making us a query. Yes, honey. We listen to me, Linda. 
They don't understand how we do what we do, Father God. And the only thing we can say is bala, bala, bala. We showing them how to dance, honey. We showing them how to move. We showing them how to twist and swirl out here. And we making a few haters earl out here, okay? We showing them how to twist and swirl and making the haters earl out here. Father God, please give us wisdom. Please give us more moves, Father. <laughs> Give us some more moves out here, Father. Give us guidance. Show us how to shake, rattle, and whirl, and swirl all through this universe and get everything that we want, Father God, because we deserve it. We work hard for it, and Lord, we deserve to have this fun, Father. Thank you so much for keeping us blessed and highly favored. Thank you so much, Father God, for keeping your hands on us, because sometimes you be shaking us when we need it, and you know we cool with it, Father. Go ahead and shake us and keep us in line, Father. Keep us in line. Keep us sublime. Father, give us guidance for June, because blessings is coming soon. Come on, Father. Listen, Aquar if anybody has never been in an Aquarius reading, y'all do not understand Y'all do not understand this energy. This is the same energy every month. Every reading with every sign I do is different because y'all have different energies. We do our damnedest over here. Listen, even when God be having to keep us in line, we be good. Hold on. And I'm out here with the... Hey, y'all hear that shit in the back? Hey, baby. It ain't my fault that I'm... Gotta blame it on my juice. Ay, 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 Blame it on a juice. Blame it, blame it on a juice. Ah, come on, Aquarius. Ah, Lizzo. Blame it on a juice. Blame it, blame it on a juice. Come on. Ooh, somebody come get this man. I think he got lost in my DMs. What? In my DMs. You better tell that man to have some financial discipline. You better come get this man. I think he got lost in my DMs. What? In my DMs. Getting loose with the pockets. You better come get this man. I think he got lost in my DMs. What? In my DMs. All loose with his pockets. Who in the hell... Aquarius got lost in your DMs being loose in their pockets. <laughs> blame it on my juice. Blame it, blame it on my juice. Aquarius, I'm not fucking with y'all. Let me get some water. Aquarius said these hoes thirsty. <laughs> I'm sorry, Aquarius. I am not dealing with y'all right now. Y'all just said blame it on my juice. Somebody come hold on. I know they they do anything for cloud ain't coming on. Straight out the streets of the fence out by every beach. <laughs> okay, hold on. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, y'all gotta see this video, y'all. If y'all have not seen that, Cardi B and Offset, we do anything for clout. What I just seen, what made me just go off like that. Number one, hold on, they do anything for clout. They do anything for clout. Number one, the way Offset was playing that goddamn uh, at that piano and he got his ass up off that piano with that mask on. I just got a feeling right now, listen, financial discipline, um, Aquarius, I want y'all, cause I feel like y'all out there being y'all goddamn this right now, do y'all see this pink right here, y'all are out here really enjoying the spring, y'all are in y'all element, and these other hoes is irrelevant, look, y'all are loving it, and I feel like y'all are really, really loving it, y'all might be out there splurging, cause y'all swerving in the, <laughs> y'all swerving like a virgin in the suburbans, okay, y'all feeling real funky and fresh okay real puss and boots elements out here real puss and boots y'all giving me some real puss and boots out here and some man done got lost in your dm what in your dms what hold on they do anything for cloud out here okay <laughs> real puss and boots puss and boots okay 
Ace of Swords. Am I telling the truth right now? Arthur, am I pulling? Are you trying to pull the sword out of the stone? Arthur, they do anything for Cloud. I am I telling the truth? Am I giving clarity? Okay. <laughs> A whole lot of bitches need to hear it. A whole lot of motherfuckers want my hitness. Is that what y'all saying? Oh, judgment. Oh, okay. Bitches want to start big beef. She said, you know I'm the bomb. They ticking me off. Say my name, say my name, Destiny Child. All I want to be rich. Everybody want to be this. Ah! <laughs> to suck my dick. What? Okay, listen, Aquarius, I'm not fucking with y'all. Because I'm telling the truth. And y'all are like, listen, they do anything for clout. Bitches is mad. Bitches is trash. Ugh, out of the grouch. Y'all are going too hard right now. They do anything for clout. I'm sorry. The way fucking Aquarius. I want, I'm trying to tell y'all. The way Offset got the fuck up off of that piano playing keys. Like y'all playing these bitches like keys. Like I feel this. Like I'm sorry. Like that is why God is telling me to focus on his music and shit. And, and no, the way that Offset is dancing. The way he did that look. <laughs> The way the video was going off, y'all shimmying. Wasn't I saying by law in the prayer? I was saying by law. Dance, 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 bitch. What? I'm sorry. I am sorry. I am sorry. Aquarius. Whole lot of niggas need to hear this. Whole lot of bitches on my hit list. What? Oh my God. I feel like. Aquarius is calling a lot of people out. They doing anything for clout. Y'all are being called out right now. Y'all are being called out right now. I feel like a lot of truth just came out right now. Okay? Bitch, you better come get your man. I think he got lost in my DM. What? In my DM. Spending a little money, huh? Bitch, you better get your man. I think he got lost in my DM. What? Someone just set their crown down and then got lost in Aquarius DM. It ain't my fault that I'm out here with the juice. Blame it, blame it on the juice. Okay? <laughs> Let me find out what the hell else is going on, y'all. Because y'all just played with me too much. And I feel like in this Aquarius right now, there is a lot of money coming in. Because it's a lot of juice. It's a lot of lip. Blame it. Blame it on my juice. It ain't my fault. And I feel like Aquarius is like, it ain't my fault. It ain't my fault. Okay? They do anything for clout. A whole lot of niggas need to hear this. It's a lot of motherfuckers on my hit list. Okay? When the shit is when prices is low, they say my name, say my name, Destiny Child. Okay? Like, wow. Oh, my goodness. I feel like everybody got Aquarius name in their mouth because of this juice. Blame it. Blame it on my juice. Wheel of Fortune. I just told you. I, 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 blame it. Blame it on my juice. Blame it. Blame it on my juice. I feel like there's a lot of fucking good fortune coming to you. Motherfuckers is healing the truth. They are, they are being called out. There's a lot of blessings coming to you. You need to be financially disciplined. Um, I feel like you are rejecting a lot of love right now. You're like, fly, fly, fly away. Don't come and shit no motherfucking bullshit in my cup right now. Go ta-ta, ta-ta. Go shoo. Shoo, go somewhere. And I don't want no love right now. I feel like love is a distraction to this money. Love is a distraction to this money. We don't want no distractions. We too busy being blessed and highly favored out here. It ain't my fault, okay? Bitch, you better come get your man. I think he got lost in my DM. What? Okay, bitch. He tried to spend a little change on me. You better come get your man. I think he got lost in my DM. He tried to spend a little change on me. Okay? He tried to spend his little fame on me. 
I feel like there's an Aquarius. Y'all might be talking to someone that is famous. He trying to spin a little change on me. He trying to spin his little fame on me. I'm sorry. That's what I just heard in my head. And then excuse me why I feel myself is coming on. So much Prada on me. I'm going to do my thing. No apologies. Mirror, mirror on the wall. That's that, oh my God, it's looking heavenly. Hold on. Watch what she about to say. Feeling like a stripper when I'm looking in the mirror and my ass is getting fatter, getting thicker and thicker. Hey, young, I cannot fuck with y'all, young. I don't see nobody else but me. Excuse me while I feel myself. Y'all are rejecting love. Y'all are feeling yourself right now. Excuse me while I feel myself. That's what you're telling them. Let me awaken y'all from y'all grave. Excuse me while I feel myself. <laughs> I'm too fortunate right now. I <laughs> don't give a fuck about y'all. <laughs> Look up in the mirror. I had a vision. A hundred million. I can get it. Financial discipline, you guys. strength mirror mirror on the wall tell me what you see oh my god it's looking heavily I don't give a fuck about what y'all bitches barking at I be smacking on that ass getting thicker and thicker I don't see nobody else excuse me while I feel myself <laughs> Hey, bruh, I'm not fucking with y'all right now, bruh. Come on, let's keep going. I don't. I hope y'all can hear the music in the back, and I hope they don't block this shit yet. That's why we about to motherfucker go over to Patreon, because we gonna be cranking with the music in the back. Fuck all this shit. Discontent and boredom. Y'all discontent and boredom. <laughs> Y'all looking for something. Y'all want something. Look, I don't need a crown to know that I'm a queen. They bored with you. They rejecting whoever this is. Trying to send something to. Some messages of love to Aquarius. They don't see nobody else. Excuse me while I feel myself. They discontent and bored with whatever your foundation is with them. Excuse me while I feel myself. I'm, un I'm uninterested. Crown chakra. They know they're true. I don't see no one but me. Excuse me while I feel myself. They have a firm fucking understanding and a firm belief. Listen, they are spiritually, listen, spiritually on a level. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Tell me who I see. That's my, oh my God, she looking heavenly. Okay? That's that, oh my God, she looking heavenly. Okay? Bored with y'all. Bored with y'all. I don't see nobody else. Excuse me while I feel myself. Aquarius is feeling they so... Listen. Feeling like a stripper when I'm looking in the mirror. Said I'm smacking on that ass. Getting thicker and thicker. Motherfucking day pockets is getting thicker and thicker. Thicker and thicker, man. They ain't focused on no money. They focus on their blessings. They keeping that shit real. They calling out fuck shit. And it's like, with that judgment, it's just like, man, I know better now. I don't see nobody but me. Excuse me while I feel myself. I don't give a fuck. I just, I just don't. Partnerships and alliances, they making new partnerships and alliances. It's like, if you not on my level, if you ain't trying to create with me on this new wavelength, you know, to, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like they're making new partnerships and alliances. And triumph. This triumph is in reverse. Why is this triumph in reverse? 
the universe. I feel like the universe is getting in the way of a partnership. Rejoice and celebration. Like authority. Okay. I feel like I get it. You're discontent in your board with a situation. Okay? And I feel like this is more for the people that's on the receiving end to understand. You're gangster with this shit right now. You understand what I'm saying? This is for other people to kind of come to some understanding with this. Because um, right now, Aquarius might be withdrawn with that number seven. Okay? Because um, I feel like Aquarius was in a place of contemplation with this crown chakra and with this number seven. They were in a place of contemplation. They came to a level of understanding by analyzing the way they feel. And their heart is bored and they're discontent with whatever the situation is, whatever this foundation that was built through this partnership and this alliance. This might be a, 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 a endeavor where you guys have done something created, creatively, you know what I'm saying, like a partnership in business. But I feel like it's not triumphant. I feel like this partnership and alliance, whereas though it was creative and everything in regards to how y'all came together, is something that the universe doesn't see fit to prosper at this moment. I don't feel like the universe wants you in alliance with any motherfucking body. I feel like this is a certain journey in life right now that Aquarius is having to triumph and go on alone. And I feel like there was something that maybe at one point in time, when they dropped the situation, when they I feel like when they dropped the idea or the, they dropped the communication in their cup about starting this new beginning, this new birth of whatever this is, is you know what I'm saying? It was something that you love the idea of it. And I feel like it was delivered you kind of unexpectedly. You know what I'm saying? At first, it sound good. And a lot of good things are coming to you. But I think quickly the universe said, no, I don't trust this partnership and alliance. I don't feel like you are going to triumph successfully in this. And the universe got in the way of that. Because what they want you to do is recognize that we're giving you all of these blessings. But at the time, everything that love you. You don't you don't need to love it and you need to to demonstrate some financial discipline. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like this may be a, a alliance or a business opportunity that the universe. The universe is going to illuminate to you that you can rejoice in the celebration of all your successes and everything like right now. And I feel like you're in a place where you love everything that's going on in your life right now but I don't think that you need to connect and I don't feel like you need to connect and shake hands with everybody and the universe is going to get in the way of that connection and you making that alliance with that person because they don't want you to align yourself with just any fucking body you know what I'm saying but you can still party with this person and have a good time and everything like that but the light is going to be shine that you might be Getting in connection with someone that you might not want to be under their authority. Do you understand what I'm saying? And we ain't go through everything that we went through for you to be answering to nobody. And these motherfuckers don't have no authority over nothing around here. So that's exactly what the universe is going to illuminate to you. I feel like this is someone that might possibly... Yeah, try to come around trying to sort themselves as some type of... Try to do a power play move that... The universe is blocking like nah you're not about to pull none of that bullshit over here slim so i'm sorry you know what i'm saying so i feel like this might be something that someone wanted you to invest in because they see that all of this good fortune is coming to you and i feel like you might have to serve someone the hard truth and you might have to tell them like listen off some king arthur shit like are you truly king arthur put that crown down and show me you the true king pull that goddamn blade out of the goddamn stone if you could pull that blade out of the stone then I'll, I'll go into this with you other than that you know what i'm saying listen i might i might not you know to 
Tuh. I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go with my better judgment. You know what I'm saying? I got to answer to the call of my higher, my higher self, and no. I'm going into something that is going to benefit me in the long run and that the people that I'm dealing with, that they're honorable and they're truthful and that this is going to work out for every man, woman, and child involved. Because if this shit fails, I'm the one that's going to have to answer to this. You see what I'm saying? Because this, you know, I feel like maybe this investment or whatever this idea is or whatever this is, I feel like if all of, if, if, if all of this fortune that's being blessed to you if it all goes up in smoke I feel like you'll never forgive yourself and I feel like you're being very smart not only are you being smart but I feel like you were about to be trusting but universe the universe jumped in and said no not today no not today and I feel like maybe because you know um I feel like maybe because you were a little discontent and bored, I feel like, you know, you felt tired of being withdrawn. You wanted to have new partnerships and alliances. Excuse me, you guys. Let me guidance. Possibility. Raise your standards. Elevate your expectations. Have You have unlimited potential. So, I feel like your idea or whatever it is that you wanted to do it has a lot of possibility and potential God just wants you to raise your standards elevate your expectations you have unlimited potential and I want you to sit down and really like really analyze because I see a lot of sevens a lot of sevens that means being analytical knowledge wisdom being spiritually guided self-discipline you know what I'm saying contemplating, understanding, withdrawing yourself from situations so that you can really come to a place of full understanding that true, the, what that truly embodies is that, you know, ace of swords, you know? So you have a lot of possibilities around you. I feel like God is most definitely going to get in the way of certain alliances and you shake at certain people hand it's like yeah you can shake their hands and you can party with them and everything but everybody ain't good for you to intertwine with in business everyone is not every every everything ain't good business and i feel like you might be giving some hard judgment some hard truths to people and it's like they just gonna have to accept what it is you know what i'm saying i got my head down check my nails baby how you feeling i'm feeling good as hell you know what i'm saying like you feeling too good right now to let anything or anyone get in the way of just the light that is just being shined on you right now. You're not letting anyone, you know, try to act like they're going to assert their authority over you in any type of way or talk to you any type of way. <laughs> and I do, and I do feel like that there is someone that might call you like on that the songs that I was getting it might be someone trying to call and act like they someone of authority and you might be shedding a light to them and letting them know listen I met this person out when I was rejoicing and celebrating the universe told me I wasn't going to be triumphant in this situation and I told this motherfucker only thing we're going to be is friends and alliances I already, my crown chakra already let me know that this was going to be some bullshit and I was going to be discontent and bored with him anyway. So, to, there's a possibility that your man is out there, but shit, he got lost in my DM and I'm pretty sure he lost in somebody else's DM. You better go get your man, okay? You better go get your man. And he's been happy too, okay? So, bitch, I ain't know nothing about you, okay? So, that's why I'm saying, to, you might be letting somebody know that. Bitch, you better go get your man. Okay. Okay. Anyway. The fool. Okay. You ain't no fool. 
Aquarius is not no fool. They know that they have a lot of possibilities. They got a lot of possibilities to love. They got a lot of possibilities and career opportunities. But at the same time, they're not no fool. Because if you look at this in the upright, you see that goddamn dragon staring behind his goddamn ass. It's like, listen, I might be short, but I ain't dumb, bitch. Okay? I ain't no goddamn fool. All right? I ain't no goddamn fool. And I feel like there's certain situations that where there's a lot of possibilities in it. You just really do not have faith that it's going to be triumphant because the Lord has illuminated to you. You know what I'm saying? That this person, the tower, yeah, the tower in reverse. So I feel like this was something that you didn't have faith in. And this was something that you knew good and goddamn well was going to fall and crumble down fast and quick. And you avoided it. It, it was illuminated to you. You know what I'm saying? That this situation, this partnership, even though that's my dog or we have a good time celebrating. But this ain't, this ain't, this is not going to work out for me. And I feel like you kind of got out right in the nick of time because you knew very much so not to be no fool and not to have no faith and not to take a risk in this situation because you already seen cracks in the foundation and you knew Londa Bridge was going to fall very soon. So you got your ass the fuck up out of there. You got your ass out of Dodge. You got out of harm's way, basically. You know what I'm saying? You got out of harm's way. No. What is this? The Ten of Spears, yes. You put down all of them spears before you broke your back. Okay? Before you ended up with... You put this burden down before it really could do damage to... I feel like your foundation, your reputation, like everything. Everything that you've been building. Everything that you've been building. You put, you put the burden down before it could really become something that was catastrophic to you. The Knight of Spears. Yeah, I feel like this person that came to you with this idea for this career-based opportunity, I feel like this person was really driven and really excited about it. Like maybe the first three, four weeks or maybe the three or four months or something like that. But like quickly like their um, excitement for it fizzled it out I feel like the only time this person really gets excited about whatever this project was is when y'all out drinking and having a good time and it's like okay motherfucker um uh you're not gonna be a good business partner like i'm not about to take no risk with you because at the end of the day when it come down to shit you be trying bark orders and trying to act like you got some level of authority that you really don't have and at the end of the day like you don't quickly your passion for the shit quickly fizzled out so how the fuck am i going like see me being successful fucking with no no <laughs> what is this the ace of spears yeah uh-huh yeah so i i feel like there this is a decline this is someone receiving a confirmation that you know aquarius isn't moving forward on this new passionate adventure on this new beginning of whatever new passionate project it was like because it was something that y'all was passionate about something that y'all were very fiery and excited about doing but it was just like quickly oh okay so what is this the priestess in reverse um it was something that that it was something about this person where you felt like they were very sneaky and there was some underlying shit about this person that you didn't know about. Like, I feel like this person did, like, some shaky business or they, they were just... The way that they were maneuvering, you did not trust them. You felt like they were being too secretive and they had something too high. Like, it was maybe something in a contract or something in the onset of this new beginning that it gave you some concern and you quickly halted that shit and maybe it was you maybe it's as quick as you got excited about it you got unexcited about it because the two of coins right here you know it says the lannister always pays his debts you felt like 
for some reason I might not get paid in this situation because these ain't no honorable motherfuckers you know what I'm saying offer oh, some Lannisters always pay their debts type of shit somebody I just checked the goddamn credit bureau this motherfucker do not always pay its debts and shit and I ain't got no time I ain't even about to start no bullshit with you because if that's how the fuck y'all acting no uh uh no <laughs> okay so this is the seven of cups in reverse and this is also the eight of cups in reverse so it, it's like you know I feel like Aquarius has already made bad decisions fucking around with people like that before where they were kind of blinded and they really I feel like where they kind of walked into situations blindly just based off emotions you know and you just like listen whereas though is it was fun like you know going into things based off of emotions because these are people that I know from my past or these are people I hang out with I know good and goddamn well that that's a big ass path to no motherfucking wear you know what I'm saying so if I fuck around and make that same decision that I made before you keep doing the same shit you gonna get the same results you see what I'm saying so like this is just the warning I'm not putting that in this spread so but look the ace of pentacles though and a star and the wheel of fortune again and judgment you see what i'm saying and judgment so i want you guys to know that you know new beginnings is coming for you new solid financial beginnings you just got to focus on the star that you are and know that this will of fortune is going to continue to turn for you you just got to have good judgment even if you got to be icy cold and even if you got to go stand up and defend yourself on what motherfuckers asses and just be like look motherfucker no i already know about your past and shit like that and i don't give a fuck nigga if you don't want listen what you want smoke Fuck out of here. What type of bitch you Who you think Aquarius is? You already know how Aquarius Listen, but it's Aquarius is temper. Aquarius is temper. Because y'all already know. I will go through and I will read the whole deck. I don't even know why I split that up like that. Because y'all already know how I am. Y'all already know how I am. Let's see what the fuck is going on with Aquarius and love. Okay? Y'all already know how I am. I will go through and I will read that whole deck. That's why my personal readings be so damn long. Because we be like, uh-uh, girl, let's find out. So, no, let me stop. <laughs> Listen, I feel like um, there's some red flags in love with somebody that's in a love situation that you didn't see. And like I said, I definitely feel like someone got lost in your DMs. And I feel like you had no idea about that shit. You felt like this was a new love and you learned quickly that it wasn't. Yeah, this person was on some bullshit. You found out that this person was married and they did not tell you about it. Okay? This person is is committed and or I am getting that. You know, what I always ask people, are you single? And they say, yeah. And I say, okay, you single. Are there any people that think that they're in a relationship with you? Okay. So, yeah. This is someone that had someone who thought that they were in a relationship with them see that's the thing it's like okay when you're dating you can date but still don't mislead people like if you are dating someone and you're like oh yeah we're just dating ain't nothing like that but you spending every day with me you treating me and you doing everything with me like we together if that can be confusing like people need to draw a fine line and i think and i don't think that people do that and then it's like they get all connected with someone like that and then in a blink of an eye their energy just switches and then next thing you know on the day on to someone else are like oh i was just dating you that's fucked up you know what i'm saying so i feel like that was kind of the situation here you better come get your man i think he got lost in my dms but like this is not even this person's man but really it's like the way that this person was carrying on with this person was like that they was in this level of commitment yes it was deception this person was deceptive to this person and i felt like you did not see it because this person is just deceptive this person plays too much I feel like this person ain't about nothing but the play around. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person is about nothing but the play around. And I feel like you, you're you not really playing around. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not really playing around. And at the same time, it's just like, I'm having fun, but I don't have time for this shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm not playing around with you. Somebody come get your man. I think he got lost in my DM. I got other possibilities. You about to have a smooth ass heart to heart conversation with everybody. 
with everybody about this shit. And you about to let them know, honey, I'm a whole ass unicorn out here. I'm a straight unicorn puss out here. I got other possibilities. I don't got time for this shit. Okay? Give me um guidance for Aquarius. What does Aquarius got to say to this person that they're dealing with in the in relationship and love? Thank you. I still remember the like I still remember the good times we shared. Okay. I look at your picture often. I do. Listen. I'm really bad at commitment. Listen. Ha! <laughs> ha! Okay? Okay? What's this, an Aquarius man that got lost in someone's DM? Aquarius is just... And then also, Aquarius... And, and I told y'all, Aquarius is having too much fun. And they're rejecting people's emotional offers. They're, 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 they're like, listen, they're telling people the truth. It ain't my fault that I'm out here with the moves. That I'm out here with the grooves. You got to blame it on my juice. I'm really... Listen. So... I remember the good times we shared. I look at your pictures often, but I'm really bad at commitment. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you calling me tripping over some nigga and, or, and vice versa. Y'all know this could be reversed and all of this stuff like that. The energy could be reversed. Just take it how it fit. Or if it don't fit, don't take it at all. Um, But I really do feel like it's like Aquarius wasn't really... Aquarius really wasn't looking for nothing serious anyway. But at the same time, don't be getting me caught up in no bullshit. I feel like this person, Aquarius is really sexually attracted to, to, to this person. The thoughts of you still does things to me. You're never far from my mind. I definitely feel like this person, Aquarius, is very much sexually attracted to, but of course, it's not tripping on nobody right now. You understand what I'm saying? And I feel like there's a lot of deceptive bullshit going on. Um, Avil on this person's part or Aquarius's part. Because this very much so could be um reverse. But whoever it is about to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Um, and I feel like that's if if it's the Aquarius that's doing that to them. Then, then clearly you see where Aquarius is at. They're really bad at commitment. And they weren't looking for anything serious anyway. Then this person that Aquarius was dealing with is saying, I feel badly for the way I treated you. You didn't deserve that. I can't ignore the signs I'm receiving any longer. You inspire me. I feel like this person... I feel like they, Aquarius is gangster. Like Aquarius whole thing was like, look, I'm really bad at commitment anyway. Like me and you was just having fun. I really wasn't taking this shit serious like that. But you ain't have to get me mixed up in all this bullshit. Like don't be having no bitches calling me and just, or niggas call or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? Like I really wasn't, I really wasn't even tripping or really wanting love out of this situation in the first place. So I feel like the fact that Aquarius has the ability to be like that, you know, Aquarius is an air sign. You know what I'm saying? They straight, true, 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 straight to the core. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's inspiring to this person that Aquarius was dealing with because they wish that they could be more straightforward and direct and blunt like that because if they would have did that it wouldn't have got this other person's feelings hurt because I feel like Aquarius really likes this person and Aquarius and that person really likes Aquarius but to Aquarius this person was really just a play thing and I feel like this person might have really liked Aquarius but I don't think that I honestly feel like it's going to be a shocker it says I need more time to figure things out and Aquarius don't really need time to figure... It says, I'm sorry, I couldn't do right by you. Yeah, I feel like this person came into the situation fucked up. And things would have been good with Aquarius, but they came into the situation with bullshit. So that was number one. And number two, because of the bullshit, and Aquarius didn't see the red flags. Aquarius, and the reason why Aquarius did not see the red flags, I feel like this person was spending money on Aquarius. Or either Aquarius was spending money on them. But honestly, what I what I'm thinking, I, what I got from the beginning, I felt like a lot of money and a lot of blessings was coming in from people being thirsty. They do anything for clout, and I feel like don't 
just go fuck that shit off on purses and dumb shit. Bitch, save your fucking money. Financial discipline, like, if you getting all this money and shit like that, save that shit. Don't be stupid. And I ain't even trying, you know, hit y'all ass on the G-code like that. But no, of course, y'all know how I am G-code, nigga, G-code. G code what it G code what it Hold on who know about that juvenile Ah G code what it G code what it Oh uh. Hold on what's that song uh, Something 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 You understand You understand You understand Hold on what you be saying I hit you with the thrill of Manila You understand what Okay Y'all better stack that money Oh baby Listen you about to get paid up the way you lay up, honey. You look good. You feel good. You taste good. Everything is good. Okay? Everything is good. This is the ace of coins, honey. This is the ace of pentacles. Baby, a lot of brand new blessings is coming in for you financially. And merely because a lot of people just walking by and just think you that bitch. And they want to spend a few dollars on you. Okay? I am serious. Like, I am serious. I am serious. It's like almost you can't be denied. It's like money is attracted to you. And I feel like... You and everybody around you literally benefits from you just being a motherfucking star. Like, I feel like y'all be out here killing shit. All right? What is this? This is, this is, this is the star card in reverse, right? So, what I'm getting here is, I feel like y'all had to go through, like, the storm. Is this the star card? Is it? Anyway, it don't even fucking matter. It do matter. It absolutely the fuck does matter. But I feel like this is the star card. Anyway, so listen. So, yeah, this is a star card. This is a star card. I'm tripping. So, listen. I feel like you guys had to go through the fucking storm and kind of face your shadow. Like, I feel like y'all went through like a dark night of the shadow type of shit. Like, y'all just came out of a storm. And y'all ended up pouring out everything that wasn't benefiting you. And, like, that's how you came into all of these blessings. I feel like y'all know y'all worth now. And y'all not taking nobody bullshit. And y'all don't really give a fuck about... Y'all don't care about nobody's feelings. You speaking your truth and you walking in your truth. And you don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? A rose is still a rose, baby girl. You're still a flower. You were that rose that grew through concrete. You had to go through the storm. In order for you to grow like this. And I feel like all of the blessings that are being given to you. You deserve that shit. And it's like. I feel like you're not taking a whole bunch of shit seriously. You're not taking a whole bunch of shit seriously at all no more. A lot of shit that you used to hold on to. I feel like you've let go. You might have had four major like big tower moments in your life. Like four big situations that happened to you. That was unexplainable. That was unexpected resulted in a lot of change a lot of transformation in your life um i felt like you guys went through a big time in y'all life where y'all went through a down period and now y'all coming up and y'all letting go of a whole bunch of shit that just don't benefit you no more three of cups y'all are rejoicing y'all are celebrating like y'all are like offering your cup to the sky to the universe and thanks because you know this empress card in the reverse y'all have turned y'all back on everything that literally that was getting in the way of your growth you know i feel like right now you guys have been splurging because you are redefining yourself you are rediscovering yourself you are a brand new empress you are learning what it is to be an empress you are learning what it is to create and right now because you're learning you're saying i don't really want to put my time in creating anything right now however i do want to what is it? Reinvent myself. I feel like you guys are buying new clothes. Y'all are moving houses. Y'all are soaring. I feel like you guys are spending a lot of money on yourself. Like that's why they're saying to financial discipline. Because I feel like a lot of people are taking notice to you. A lot of people are seeing your potential and how you're going to grow and how things are like how blessed you are. Like they really are noticing that. And I feel like you guys are not even the same no more. Like, you guys are, like, literally 
y'all are so grateful with i'm like literally i can see y'all pouring yourself glasses of champagne in your house by yourself like you got two or three glasses of champagne you sitting there and like you're literally offering one cup you like god i'm, I'm giving this shot to you because you the man like none of this could have been possible without you and it's like i feel like y'all have spiritual talks with god a lot and god told you you know what Turn your back on the world right now and reinvent yourself. And when you come out, baby, you're going to come out and kill shit. And we're going to take over the world. Or some pinky brain, pinky in the brain shit. What we doing today, brain? We're going to take over. Uh, we, we about to take over the world. And I feel like literally like you, you got your back turned to a whole bunch of bullshit. That's why it's like you not. You're not offering your cup to nobody. You, you're you like, listen, you telling people, Lip, I, I appreciate the fact that you like me. Don't come dropping your shit in my cup. My cup, my cup ain't got nothing to do with you, okay? And I feel like it took a lot for you to not give into temptation of just everybody that just be offering shit to you. Everybody just be barking. You be like, nigga, go ahead. <laughs> Who you think you yelling at? Go ahead. Like, you play too much. Get the fuck out of here. And it's like... <laughs> It's like, God, you see this motherfucker yelling at me, God, oh my God. You see how I turn my back away and be sword on his ass. <laughs> like, you petty. You dumb petty right now. I feel like y'all going to get your hair and y'all nails done. Like, you got your back turned to a whole bunch of people while you getting your wardrobe collection together. You redoing your house. You were just redoing everything. Because when you turn around on the bitch, whoop, mm-mm. G code bought it. G code bought it. G code bought it. Because I told you, you bored with the motherfuckers. You bored. Okay? Getting new hair, new fingernails. Hold on. What's, um, I don't know if y'all know who Mac Deb is. If you go on Instagram, type in a search engine, Mac Deb. And she's like carrying this shit out of this other. <laughs> performer and he's like uh-uh baby let me show you a new cut a new color okay said so, honey those are wigs that you had on past weeks okay let me get you a new hair some new fingernails let me show you a new cut a new color okay a new way of living and that's exactly what you're doing you turning your back on hoes you releasing shit on hoes you letting go on hoes all right, and you are celebrating and you are rejoicing. Bala on a dick, but 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 bala on a dick. I'm gone. Peace. <laughs>